Mrs. Tony. We are going over standard SS6H1. The student will describe the impact of European contact on Latin America. One of the essential questions is how were the Europeans able to conquer the Aztecs and Incas? The Aztec civilization. At the time of European exploration, the Aztec civilization was the most powerful of all civilizations in central and southern Mexico. The Aztec controlled the area around their capital city of Tenochtitlan, now Mexico City. Their borders stretched from the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean. They controlled lands as far south as present-day Guatemala. This is a picture of where the Aztec Empire was located. You can see Mexico at the bottom. You can also see in the green the Aztec Empire. The Aztec were known for their artwork and their architecture. They constructed a beautiful capital city on islands in a large lake, Lake Texcoco to be exact. A pyramid temple was at the center of this great city. And there's a picture at the bottom of what it may have looked like back then. An important part of the culture of the Aztec was the sacrifice of animals and humans. People who were conquered by the Aztec were required to pay large taxes. They also had to provide people to offer as sacrifice to the Aztec gods. The Aztec had a complex and rich society. They had a mathematical system to keep up with their empire. They also had two different calendar systems to organize their empire. And here's an example of what their calendars looked like. Their farming system was also very efficient. They used irrigation to keep their crops growing even during dry periods. They also developed a way to farm in the lake and marshy areas surrounding their capital city by creating chinapas or floating gardens. And here's a picture again of their area. The Aztec civilization ended in 1521 when it was conquered by the Spanish. The Spanish unfortunately destroyed much of the Aztec buildings and artwork. They destroyed the city of Tenochtitlan and built Mexico City in its place. Hernan Cortez was a Spanish conquistador, that means conqueror. He is famous for conquering the Aztec Empire in Mexico in 1519 to 1521. After his victory, the Spanish began to sell in Mexico and they would retain control of Mexico for the next 300 years. Cortez was born in Spain in 1485. As a young man, he heard of stories of expeditions of Columbus and the riches that were to be found in the Indies. When he was 19, he sailed to the New World and got a job as a clerk. He learned how colonies were run. He also made many contacts with Spanish explorers. After Cuba was conquered, Cortez made mayor of one, was made mayor of one of the towns. In 1518, Cortez was told to take a group of ships to Mexico. He was ordered to conquer the powerful Aztec. This is a picture of what it may have looked like back then when he was told to conquer the Aztec. In 1519, he landed in Mexico with 11 ships, 500 soldiers, and 100 sailors. And this could be a picture of, again, what it looked like when Cortez and Montezuma II met. Cortez was concerned that some of his men would be frightened by the Aztec. To make sure that no one tried to escape back to Cuba, Cortez had all the ships destroyed. So it was either success or death. Those were the only two options. Cortez trained his men for many months. He made friends with nearby Indians who did not like the Aztec. By the time he marched on the Aztec's capital city of Tenochtitlan, he had over 1,500 fighters. Over 1,000 were native people who wanted to fight the Aztec. The ruler at the time of the Aztec was Montezuma II. Due to the fact that Montezuma believed that Cortez might be a returning Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl, he welcomed Cortez into the city. Once inside the city, Cortez and his men quickly took Montezuma captive. Cortez believed that he could control the Aztec by keeping their leader hostage. Cortez was able to rule the lands of central Mexico for several months this way before problems began. A fight had broken out between Cortez's men and the Aztec while Cortez was away. 
When Cortez returned, battles had to be fought to win back to Noctilin. In 1521, Cortez led a military victory over the Aztec. From this time forward, the Spanish sent more troops and settlers into Mexico. And again, there's another picture of one of the battles. They tore down the buildings of the Aztec and destroyed Tenochtitlan. In its place, they built Mexico City. For the next 300 years, Mexico was under Spanish control. And another picture of Montezuma II. And again, he was the Aztec ruler from 1500 to 1520. Um, he's most famous for ruling when they were invaded by Hernan Cortez. Montezuma had spread the Aztec Empire over a large part of central and southern Mexico. Native Americans conquered by Montezuma had to pay him high taxes and had to send him humans for sacrifice in the temples of the Aztec. Because of the taxes and sacrifices, Montezuma was unpopular with those he conquered. Montezuma was popular with his own people, however, and was considered a great ruler. When Cortez and his army came to Tenochtitlan, Montezuma was alarmed. Many people, including Montezuma, believed Cortez to be a god. Montezuma ordered that Cortez and his men be welcomed into the city. They were given grand gifts and gold. Some believe that Montezuma acted this way in the hopes that Cortez would take the gifts and leave. Instead, Cortez took Montezuma hostage and ruled for some time while Montezuma was a prisoner in his own palace. In 1520, a fight broke out between Spanish troops and Aztec warriors. The battle grew and Montezuma was killed and the Spanish conquest was complete. Thank you for your time. I hope this helps explain the impact of European contact on Latin America.